Are you already learning to cook yet or what? Let's get right into it. We serving up love in a bowl over here. It's your girl, Jenny Vittles, and today I'm gonna show you how to make these charro beans. First, you wanna start with your bag of pintos. I went with the 16 ounce. And then into a bowl, you're gonna go ahead and get those beans washed first, okay? Any beans that are brown or falling to the top, go ahead and remove those right away. They are no bueno. And then here comes the good stuff. Go ahead and get you a few pieces of thick cut bacon. Go ahead and cook that up and let that grease drip down in that pan because we're going to use that. Put some of it to the side. We're going to store it because in our crock pot, we're going to put some of this bacon grease in lieu of and butter, okay? Then for the little smoky taste, I went with the beef smoked sausage, and that is the 12 ounce. You can get any sausage of your choice if you want. Go ahead and cut those into small pieces like I've done here and get those sauteed and browned up. There we go, like that. Gotta get the little crust on there. And then go ahead and transfer those into your crock pot as well. Next, you wanna come in with the small purple onion and saute those up also in the same baking grease because we want all the flavor as possible. Put those in. I have a bunch of cilantro that I did a rough chop on and put those in. I had a, a few chilies for the spice that I'm gonna add. I added three. And then I added in my soaked and clean beans. Then I'm coming in with a whole quart of chicken broth. If you don't have it, use a chicken bouillon cube and then about two cups of water to make sure all the beans are covered. I was lazy and didn't fire us my own tomatoes. I went with the can. You can do whatever you want to do. And then um, if you have some fresh jalapeno, do that. I went with what I had in the fridge. I had some leftover jarred jalapenos and added that to it. Go ahead and mix everything about so it's well incorporated. And now we're going to season. Now all the ingredients I'm going to put in the caption what I used, but I went in with some garlic, onion powder, paprika, a pack of saison, salt, cumin. Of course, you gotta go with the um, Josu salt. And I know it looks sketch, but that's just a leftover uh, Mexico oregano. Now you're gonna come in with that uh, cooked bacon and throw in a couple bay leaves. Go ahead and cover that bad boy up. Cook it on high if you want, about six hours until it gets to your desired consistency, nice and thick. If you can smell how flavorful it is, Go ahead and plate it up with some rice. I also hooked it up with a couple of cheese tortillas, the corn ones. And guess what? Don't forget to like, share, follow, repost, and tell everybody we got heat over here. Enjoy.